Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. We've got a fun one for you today. I've got an image here. When I scroll over it, it's going to scroll in and it's actually going to target this guy right here. It's not scrolling in central. It's going to sort of zoom in on that chat there. We can also click on it and have it pop out into a light box. Really nice little effect, really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Okay, if we go down, I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside the section, I've got a row with a couple of columns in it. I'm going to go to my second column here. Let's add an image module. I roll down. There's the image module. Let's click on here, select an image. And we'll pop it in there. Let's move this over. Okay, if you want it to pop out into a light box, you can do so down below in the link here. Just hit that, or you can add a URL and take your visitors somewhere by putting a URL in there. I'm going to have mine open in a light box. That's great. And when I hover over this, you'll see that crazy writing pop up there. That's actually the name of this AI generated image. If you want to get rid of that or change it, you can do so over in advanced and its attributes. There's that crazy number. You can change it to something more appropriate. Or if you don't want to see it at all, just delete it. And when you hover over, there'll be nothing there. I'm going to leave mine just like that. Okay, we'll say when they hover over this, we want to scale it up and zoom in on that lady's head or something like that, or wherever you happen to want to go with yours couple of things that we need to do before we can actually do this. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go into the column that this is actually sitting in. So we'll go into the green tab. We're working on column two here. I'm going to go over to my advanced and custom CSS. I'm going to give this a fixed height. If we go over to module elements here and the main element, I'm going to give it height, H-E-I-G-H-T, and I'll put this little bit of code down below. It's very simple though. It's just the word height with a colon after it, and then the amount in pixels. We'll try 275. I think that's a little too short for that image, 275px for pixels. Now I don't see any change here. What we need to do is hide any overflow. So when we set a height, if there's anything overflowing from that height, we won't see it. That way we can tell what size we actually need. So let's put a little semicolon there in case we want to add another line of code. Still in the advanced, let's scroll down a little bit to visibility. And here we've got horizontal and vertical overflow. I'm going to change both of these from the default to hidden. Now I don't know if you noticed there, there's a bit of a change on the image. If we go back now to our custom CSS. If I add that from 275 to 285, it's got that little bit on the bottom. I think 285 is what I use next door. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to leave it just like that. Now, when we zoom in on this image and it blows up, it's not going to spill out of our column. Now, if you want to, and you're going to use this on tablet and mobile, you can change the height here by clicking on the little mobile icon there. Switch the tablet, give it whatever height you want and switch to mobile and give it whatever height you want there. I think for mobile, it's probably going to work fine, but it's entirely up to you. Remember these hover effects work best on desktop. They'll work fine on tablet and mobile, but they'll actually have to click on it. Okay. I'm happy with that. Let's go back into our little image module. Now we'll say column settings, save the row settings. We'll go back into the image itself, dark tab to the image. Now to make this zoom in, there's no more coding involved. We've done all the coding we need to do. Design. I'm going to go down to transform. And the first tab right here is transform scale. But we only want it to zoom in when they hover over it. So common to all Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing within a module, you see some little icons appear. If there's an arrow, we can set a hover state. Desktop is when the mouse is not on it. Hover, obviously, is when the mouse is on it. So click on the Hover tab right here. And I'm going to scale it up maybe by 250. So two and a half times the size.
make sure you've got the little chain checked. It'll be checked by default if you want it to do both sides at once. So let's put in, well, let's go 300 on this today. Let's have a bit of fun. And as you can see, that zoom that in. It's three times the size that it was. Now, obviously, you're going to need to use a image with a bit of good resolution there. Now, if you want to zoom specifically on a place like her head, perhaps, we can do that too. If we go to translate next door, translate just means move. Make sure you're on the hover state again. And we can move it whichever way you want and zero in on specific areas. So there we go. We've got her right in the picture there. You can go crazy. You can zoom in on things over here, wherever you want. But it's a great way of targeting things when you zoom. So it's just not a straight zoom. Now, the time it takes to change from that to this by default with divvies, 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick. I like to slow it down for a bit of drama. But you can do that over in the advanced here. Down to transitions. There's the default 300 mils. Let's change it to maybe 750, three quarters of a second. Nice, graceful. And my go-to for my hover effects like this, transition speed, curve Y, is ease in, ease out. Don't want any delay. Want it to happen as soon as their mouse hits it, or at least start as soon as their mouse hits it. Well, we should be good to go there. Let's save our changes here. We'll hit the little purple button, save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And if we go down there, there's our image with our roll over it. It's going to zoom in on that young lady. And if you want to, you can click on it, pop it out in a light box. One thing to remember about this, if you're using it on tablet and mobile, is I probably wouldn't use the light box purely because when they tap on it, it'll zoom in like this. And then they tap on it again, it'll take them to the, to whatever link you want. But I think on tablet and mobile, if they tap on it, it's going to open in a light box. It will zoom in, but they'll miss half of it because of the light box. But that's entirely up to you. And that's a great little effect. People are mousing around your site. This sort of thing happens. It's going to get their attention pretty quickly. Plus, I've done this before on several client sites. We did it for a building company where they wanted to zoom in on a particular building and then zoom out again. And they were really impressed with it. So as you can see, really easy to do. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. We'll make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.